In this video, we visit Isla Cabrera, which is home to one of the oldest forts in Spain, which was built to warn Mallorca of pirates headed across the sea. We take a swim in a beautiful blue cave before heading out and sailing around Mallorca. <laughs> well, Geraldine is now back from her morning paddle board. Um, great, nice calm night here in this bay. Um, we were talking about just now, it's a shame we can't fly the drone because it's so beautiful. But uh, so now, uh, once she gets back on board, we are going to head ashore and go hike up to the uh, castle. castle there. And then maybe so have lunch or something. So which date is this castle from? 14 something. We looked it up last night. Uh, I was like, how <laughs> do you know that? Yeah. So actually the initial like uh, castle was like uh, built in the 14 something. But then it was like at uh, this point, so it was to um, advise the people in Mallorca that the pirates from North Africa were coming. Mm. So they used to um, dis distract, no, uh, like, uh, how do you say, like, boom, the castle, like, <laughs> kaboom. Destroy, <laughs> you destroy, mean fuck. attack the castle? <laughs> so they used to destroy, I lost my paddle, is there? <laughs> 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 there were more lessons of history, just follow my channel. <laughs> I feel it going! <laughs> oh. oh no! How does the paddle not float? Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> you idiot! Oh. How does the paddle not float? <laughs> <laughs> you, you say yourself, I don't think it's gonna float, and then you throw it to the water. Fantastic! Well, I mean, come on, it's a paddleboard float. I mean, it's a paddleboard. It it's supposed to float. It really doesn't. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks you for saving it. it. <laughs> Alright. So they used to destroy the castle many times. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so when she gets back on board, we'll load up the dinghy and head out. Well, let's face it guys, I'm not the best at uh, eating well. And I've been trying to get back in shape every day. I've been running every single morning. And one thing I've added to my routine is AG1. AG1 is made of 75 uh, vitamins and minerals of the highest quality and it really kind of gets me everything I need to get moving. It kind of fills in the nutritional gaps that I myself don't take care of. AG1 is an effortless daily habit that is easy to make work for you. It's the healthiest thing you can do every day in under a minute. One scoop, one minute, once a day, every day, and that's it. It tastes great. I, I kind of feel it has like a little chocolatey taste to it, but pretty good. And I've just added it to my daily routine. It supports immunity and promotes gut health, two things that I definitely need with all the traveling I do. Click my link down in the description to get a one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video and for helping me get back on track with my health. Lana was feeling a bit under the weather, so she stayed behind as we headed ashore. <laughs> we start sinking. We start sinking. Destination. It was only about a 10 minute hike up the hill to Castillo de Cabrera. All these stones were quarried somewhere and brought up here by donkey or slave or something, I don't know. Hopefully yeah. donkey. Ready, come on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. This is uh, narrow. One at a time up the stairs. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Man. <laughs> I'm probably these stairs. No, that's the forecast So you're saying what, they built originally the 1400s for pirates or what? Uh, initially it was built like uh, to see the pirates that were coming like from North Africa, but it was like destroyed over and over. And then the latest like data about like when it was built, it was like in the 17, 
something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, initially, so they see the pirates coming and then they just advi advise Mallorca. And you say that's somebody up there looking for that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually, it's like one hour hike to the, the highest point of the island, which yeah. is that mountain there that with a lot of like trees. Yeah. And the Mallorca is just right behind us. Well, I mean, it only, I mean, it's, uh, Mallorca is only 10 miles, 12 miles that way, so you would... 14 kilometers, I don't know how okay, much yeah, is that so it's mind. like nine miles or something, but, uh, I mean, I guess it gives them a little bit more warning than seeing it from there, but you can see them a couple hours earlier, I guess. Yeah. But, but, I mean, uh, just, one, just a warning. One thing I was thinking, like, that stairway, I think it's purposefully that small and narrow, so that... Basically, anybody attacking would have to climb up that, right? And so you're coming out one at a time. It's easily defendable. And then they throw some bodies down there on top of people trying to come up, and you can't I mean, come up now that. I, I can't They'd even be... imagine how was the first one that they built. It was maybe, yeah. and yeah. this one was like improving, improving. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, the only way they could attack is like climbing up the side with round ladders possible. and hooks <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, crazy. going to the oh blue God. is it the blue hole or the blue cave I think it's blue cave cave, cave. blue cave it's a 10 minute Sacoba dinghy ride right on the 10 minute dinghy ride around the corner over here so we're getting out of here you guys ready yes sir yes. Ah, you're getting the technique <laughs> yeah now is the hard part yeah. now what <laughs> i got the first hit done <laughs> it was a couple miles around the corner over to the blue cave <laughs> All the jellyfish seem to be towards the back of the cave, so we headed to the mouth of the cave to do some swimming. We had a lot of really cool shots underwater, but unfortunately we did not know a 360 camera will not focus underwater. I just bumped into the boat. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just a little dark. You can't really see much. Out, really? Out, like, because it looks so blue. It's so blue, but... When you look down, it's really, really dark. All right, nice time at the Blue Cave, guys. What do you think? Beautiful. Pretty damn blue. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> so, and we're getting out of here just in time because the tour boat is coming here with probably 30 people that are be jumping in. All right, so now we are gonna go, there's one little restaurant on the island. We're gonna have lunch and then we'll head on to another island. Octopus, you have boquerones, I don't know what's the name of that in English, and you have dates with uh, bacon, then you have, uh, I think it's octopus, uh, croquettes. croquettes. croquettes de que eran? De pulpo y de setas. So, uh, mushrooms, um, octopus, and then um, and grilled uh, peppers. Really, really, really better than 
<laughs> no, it's not. I told him. So this is not handmade. Uh, the one I did last night was handmade and it's better. Uh, okay. So you try and then you let me know. But this is not like homemade. Uh, and Chigo and... Cheese and yeah. jamón serrano. And yeah, I think that's all. Well, bon appetit, guys. Look at that. Smells amazing. Enjoy. After lunch, it was back to the boat and raising the sails. It's often easier on an anchor. It's a little bit harder, but on a mooring, especially on a cat, any any sail any sailboat really it's easier to raise the mainsail while you're at uh on the mooring just a lot easier and then as soon as we release the mooring we turn around in the wind we're good to go i was yours for the taking guess i needed a home but if i'm not mistaken you were good on your own so we got about 18 miles to go uh it's already 4 15 so it's only 10 knots of breeze in here hopefully it'll be a little more out there we'll be able to sail i think it should be a good angle for us to sail but we might have to motor sail otherwise, because we can't take three or four hours to get there. I mean, you know, because it'll be dark at that point, so we have to motor sail to get there, but we should be able to sail. Now I'm truly awakened up. So you want to talk again, but it's time I do this my way. I don't want to be a friend. Think we hit our expiration date. I want you to feel the weight. I don't think it's going to be enough to like stay up to speed you know i think we have to motor sail but we can reduce it a little bit make it a little quieter because there's only nine knots of wind so if we were just to sail we'd only be doing like four and a half four knots and we got 17 miles to go we want to get there before dark so we got a motor sail Head sail on this, the, gin, the jib is no longer as high as it needs to be. The halyard needs to go up some because you can see the wrinkle in the sail. It needs to go up. So what we're going to do is like I'm going to have Lata steer into the wind until the sail starts kind of flapping, right? That'll give me the, uh, uh, the slack I need to raise the sail. So turn into the wind. All right, slow your turn a little. Start going back left a little. Just a little. Come on. Turn left, turn left. All right, now straighten it out. And then just go on. And so now, this needed to happen a long time ago, but the problem is, is that the guys that do this kind of work and really know the boats don't actually take them out, right? So now look at the sail, and it's so much better. All right, good job. Right. Woo! And now a cake to celebrate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he did the job, and she celebrated. I'm celebrating for all of you. No, you helped me. Without you, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> It was a nice leisurely sail to Cala Mondrago. Most locals, like we come to these kind of places, it's called Calas, and it's like a no beach, like sandy, long beach, but it's more rocky. You can do like a jump off the cliffs. Yeah, like a cliff jumping, like not top, they are not very high, but it's like very very popular and most of the people they come all around the island is full of colors and it's like it's the most beautiful things we will see tomorrow morning like salta <laughs> salta <laughs> there was plenty of room for us to anchor and we were ready to jump in the water That's pretty, look at that. There's another pretty one right there. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her in the sun. The rainbow is pretty. The sun is shining on our little sick girl. She's feeling better now. I'm feeling better. I'm trying to give them She's the feeding them their family. Fish are friends, not Fuji. 
<laughs> feeding them their <laughs> own cousins. Look at them. They're like, oh my gosh, what happened to Gerald? She's not swimming. Well, so she <laughs> threw anchovies in there and they're not even touching them. Uh -huh. Oh, now they're getting them. Now? Oh. Now they're getting them. Yep, 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 yeah, you have to go deep oh, enough. Yeah, you have to go deep enough. Fish are fresh, no food. Okay, not anymore. Not Gerald. It's nice. Wait, you're eating the fish bait? Yeah, she's eating <laughs> The it. fish is not, it was actually my snack. I just share it. Buy your snack. Let's do this. <laughs> she's adjusting, she's getting it. Touch my hands. Oh. Are you cold? Your hands are cold. Hey, I have two jackets. No, no good jackets, but maybe I'll ask you for a pair of socks to sleep tonight. <laughs> you don't have no socks at all? Oh. At all. Oh, yeah. And at all. At all, really. At all, Yeah, I'll give you one. Hey, well, salud. Cheers. Another, yeah. mm, another day in Mallorca. Yeah, another day in Mallorca. Fair enough. Right. Hey, guys. Come see us at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We have a special patron meetup this Friday at happy hour. If you're not a Patreon, you can sign up at patreon.com slash sailingdoodles. And we'll also be at the Creator booth on Saturday from 12.30 to 2.30. And we look forward to seeing you this weekend. Woo! Did you also know that we have a completely other channel called Glamping Doodles? We already have three seasons out, so come check it out. Wait, what? And we also... Wait, we also... We already have three seasons out. So we, so we already have... Hold on. We already have three seasons out, so come check it out and see what you think. So we already have three seasons out, so come check it out. So we already have three seasons out, so give it a watch and see what you like. So, so, <laughs> so we already have three seasons out. So no, okay, start over. No. What she's trying to say is we already have three seasons out. So give it a shot. <laughs> give it a shot, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and it's our patrons that make this channel possible. They get early access to the videos, ad-free videos, plus bonus footage. We're doing a meetup in Fort Lauderdale also. We'd love to see you there. 